Right, good afternoon traders. Today is October 25th, 2023. My name is John Carrigan. I moderate the BYOB trading room, as in be your own boss. Let's take a look at the markets today. All right, so uh, let's pull up a daily chart of the SPY. So here's our SPY. We were looking for a three-day MMRP. As you can see, we got three days down for igniting move. Maybe three days pause here. We'll see if we pull back to um, resistance and then look for it to roll over. We'll see what happens. Right now, we've got a lower high and a lower low. So, nice solid red candle down. Lower high and lower low compared to yesterday. Total reversal from yesterday's move up. So, SPY still in a downtrend. Lower highs and lower lows. Bears completed what they needed to do. Just make the lower lows. Um, let's take a look at the 10 minute. And we can see where we want to put our pivot for tomorrow. So price traded in and around this area right here. 419.35. That's probably going to be our pivot for tomorrow for 1937. So we'll go ahead and move that in there right now. Call it 41940. Oh, 37. There we go. Now, if we take a look at VWAP, we'll go back to the daily. All right. So if we look at the daily chart, we have an anchor VWAP on the low, and we have an anchor VWAP on the high. So here's the last pivot low. Here's the last pivot high. Price is moving away from the anchored VWAPs. This is a clear indication to me that money is coming out of the markets. SPY would be the market. See, money is coming out of the market because price is moving away from the anchored VWAP, which represents the average price that shares sold for since this low and this high. So I see money coming out of the markets. I see much more downside uh, in uh, till the end of the week. We'll see what happens <clears throat> unless they can turn things around. I did not see anything that indicates price is turning around. Not today anyways. So there's SPY. Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ in a daily downtrend, making lower highs and lower lows. And I'm sure if we put the anchored VWAPs in there, put it on this low, put it on this high, and you can see price is moving away from the anchored VWAPs money is moving out of the markets so it's not the best time to be investing until markets decide that money is coming back into them at this time money is being removed from the markets as things are selling off there's qqq lower high lower low daily candle lower high lower low price action the three ema in the ADMA, all underneath our trend indicator, which is red. It's hard to see it, but there's a red ball right there. So money uh, price is moving down. We're in a downtrend. Nothing bullish about today's close or today's price action. There's QQQ. FNGU. All right, FNGU, more of the same. Lower high, lower low. Candle, lower high, lower low. Total reversal, price action wiped out the last two days, bullish bullish price action right there. As you can see, we had two green candles, one red candle wiped out both, both green candles in one swoosh. So I think uh, price action is coming down through this midpoint. We'll see how much further it wants to go. Uh, if we take a look, we do have a mini head and shoulders on the FNGU. 
If we look at it on the hourly chart, I think we have one on the SPY too. Uh, you can see right here, I'll box it off for you so you can see it. Uh, let me get my drawing tools. Here we go. Trash this out. Okay, this would be our right shoulder. This would be our left shoulder. This right here is the head. So you can see we have a neckline right through here. And we can draw that in from basically right here all the way to right there. You can see price action challenging the neckline right here today. So if they break through that, <coughs> it's not looking good for the FNGU. Spice got the same thing happening. I could show you that. I forgot to show you when it was time. So we'll look at SPY. SPY's got a left shoulder right here and a right shoulder right there. And you can see all of this represents the head. So you can see another little mini head and shoulders coming down. This would be the neckline right there connecting this point and this point right here. So actually 41937 represents almost the neckline. That's good enough for, for me at this time. But you can see we've got a left a left shoulder and a right shoulder there. Price is moving down. Let's take a look at IWM. Take a look at it on the daily chart. All right, you can see uh, IWM had another little mini head and shoulders here, and you can see they came crashing through right there. IWM making lower highs and lower lows and lower highs and more lower lows. Price action for today underneath the doji that we had yesterday making a lower high and a lower low. Money's coming out of the markets, traders. <clears throat> nothing, uh, nothing bullish yet. Money is coming out. Diamond Dow. Diamond Dow, another head and shoulders pattern with lower highs and lower lows. Uh, Diamond Dow, yet to break this support area right here at 329.18. So price action for Diamond Dow today, got a lower, got an equal high and an equal low. Just kind of an inside day to what happened the day before. Do you have a little bit of good news there? Just barely, no, nothing really good. Not even a 10-minute uptrend. No, basically just flat. Nothing good. Just more consolidation. It's just been consolidating here on Diamond Dow. So let's look at SMH. SMH on the daily, printing lower highs and lower lows right there. Again, we got a red candle that wiped out two green candles of price action. So we got a lower high and a lower low. Bears are getting it done. Uh, markets in a downtrend. SMH in a downtrend, no longer consolidating, making lower highs and lower lows. IW, IYT, so our transports, again, lower highs, lower highs and lower lows. Again, look at this, look at this fallout here. Lower high, lower low here. About to come crashing through the major support area. Not a good sign for the markets. These tails down here, wicks are at top, tails are at the bottom. These tails down here represent the major support. You can see there's price action. Getting ready to test these tails right here. Tomorrow should be a, a day of testing. We'll see what happens in the IYT. It's a big candle down, three, can, three red candles down to the downside. Nothing bullish about that at all. Nothing bullish yet in the markets. Nothing says I need to be buying IYT. Let's take a look at XLF. Uh, XLF, got another double doji, kind of an inverted hammer here. XLF, 
looks like major support is trying to hold up on the XLF right here at uh, 30, 32 level. XLF is a green day. This is about the only green day I've seen. All right. Got a lower low and a lower high, but a green day. So they must have something going on inside. And couldn't quite make it up over VWAP, but did make the higher low on the 10 minute. So just more consolidation I see right here on the XLF. As you can box this off and see the price action right there. Just consolidating over to the right. Uh, that makes it a bear flag. Typically after a bear flag, the next move is going to be to the downside. We'll see what happens. Let's go back to the daily chart. And let's take a look at USO. So here's price action for crude oil. This is energy. Uh, crude oil making higher lows and higher highs. It's about the only blue sky we see right now is uh, USO and UNG. And uh, actually, yeah, futures for precious metals and energy are looking good. Uh, so you can see here's price action for today. Uh, bullish engulfing candle. Uh, just wiped out yesterday's red candle. Bounce off of the midpoint right through here. Uh, just more consolidation so far all the way through 74. Uh, looking at this on the hourly chart. Nice move up. I need a higher low put in for the hourly chart for me to get bullish. So nothing yet. Got the nice uh, high coming up through here, challenging the gap. Notice we almost almost got the gap filled today. Couldn't quite get it done. But I need to see a lower high and another higher low. Excuse me, a lower, a higher low and a higher high. Uh, but nice, nice rally back to the gap right here on USO. Still consolidating over 74. UNG. UNG had a pretty good day also, if we look at that on the daily chart. Uh, just more continuation, higher low, higher high, back up towards the T-line. Uh, you can still see price action still underneath our trend indicator. So uh, not, not quite ready yet, but we did make a higher low right here. Pressure's on the bulls to make that higher high. We'll see what happens with UNG. It's got a lot of work to do to get all the way back up here. But uh, if you could get in here and produce a, another higher low, somewhere around $7, and then produce another higher high, that would be nice. So there's UNG. Or even consolidate over to the right and then move up. So look at silver. Silver back up into the consolidation channel and just moving over to the right at this time. So... Silver is in a downtrend with a lower high and a lower low. So nothing yet. Once silver produces that uh, lower lower high over here and produces the next higher low, excuse me, the next higher low and the next higher high, we could have a bona fide uptrend in silver. But right now, the bulls need to break this downtrend and the bears have already broken the support line. So we'll see what happens. This is looking bullish at this time. GLD. More futures. Um, GLD in a downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. Uh, nice move up in GLD. Still needed to pull back and produce the higher low. We'll have the higher high, but we need the higher low. And that will uh, give us the notion to buy in. So looking for GLD to kind of pull back to... Uh, this 180 level, maybe, uh, yeah, 180, 181. Now, if we take a look at, let's take a look at DXY. And here is our U.S. dollar index. The so U.S. dollar index moving up, still consolidating over 105.50. Let's take a look at a few new ones here, all right? We're going to look at... TLT, see how the treasuries are doing. 
Treasuries still in a downtrend as rates are improving. And let's look at IEF. And more treasuries, 7 to 10 years, still in a downtrend as rates are improving. So nothing, uh, nothing bullish yet on treasuries. Well, let's look at high yield bonds. High yield bonds, uh, corporate bonds, still in a downtrend. Nothing, uh, nothing bullish there yet either. Looking for these to turn around. So that's it for the markets for today. We can look at our indicators, kind of tell a story. <clears throat> all right, T2122, uh, back in the oversold zone all day long, produced a lower high and lower lows. So T2122 selling all day. You can bet T2123, red all day long. Of course, the three bar is going to say the same thing. Even more space opening up. FNGU indicator, red, uh, right out of the gate. So those big boys are not helping us out at all. We need them to turn around. Possible double bottom here. Not seeing it, but possible double bottom tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And that's it for the markets for today. I can review what we did for trades, which was, see if I can get that over there for you. See if we can get this to come open. We had some really good trades today. I'm gonna open this up so you can see. So right out of the gate, I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to brag on myself just a little bit. Because we did a good job today. All right? So here's 902. I'm exploring SPY. Zero DTE. Bear call credit spreads. 427 to 430. Uh, this is me at 918 before the market opens up. SPY. Buying 9 DTE. Puts. 426 strike under 421.80. We opened up. Let's take a look here at SPY. Uh, bad move. And let's go back to this chart here. And let's pull up SPY. And let's get the five minute out here. So 421.80, which was right there. Red candle, bought puts right there. And we covered right into these numbers where I'm coming right through here. So this is where we covered, so let's take a look. So right out of the gate, we bought puts. And then uh, peeled off profits at 421.20. We peeled off some more profits into this low right here, which is 420.26. Okay, so we reached the first and second targets. Doesn't get any better than this right out of the gate. We got huge trade. All right, taking some more profits into 419.75. Well, here's 419.30. You can see it right into this area, three candles down, four. We took some more profits right into that. And I put on a uh, SPY below 420. I'm going to add some more puts. So you can see the price action. We had to pull back. Once we breach the 50-yard line or the midpoint of the pullback, uh, which was 420, you can see right here, below 420, bought some more puts. And we uh, profited on the way down, all the way down to here. So with those puts, we were taking profits, reloading, taking profits, reloading, taking profits, and reloading all day long. 
all called out in the room in advance before before Price even got to the locations. So you can see each each call out. All right, 420 puts. You are notified at 11 o'clock. Okay, so here's 11. When did Price cross? Right here at Price cross right there at 11.50, at 11.55, an hour later, we were uh, loading up for puts to come all the way down. So, trade after trade after trade after trade. Bear call credit spreads, sold some of those. Reloaded more credit spreads on the rally back up, sold them off into the halfway point, and then reloaded again. Played those credit spreads three times in that hour right there. And that's it. We had a wonderful day today trading. We got the Fibonacci pullback. And just to sell off all day, big bear flag here. Well, excuse me, little bear flag with consolidation over to the right. So we'll see what happens for tomorrow. And that's it for me today, traders. I hope you all had a wonderful day. I know a lot of people in the room made some good money. All right, so everybody, I'll see you all tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful afternoon. I'm just going to put this up there. This is all the people congratulating me. This is, this is good. You can see. Everybody just loves being in this room. If you're not part of this room, you know, you're missing out on some really good money. You know, incredible. You can see it. Awesome. Hope you consider getting a membership or at least taking a trial. Trial is only $24.50. You can spend 30 days or, well, 25 trading days hanging out with me here in the uh, BYOB room and learning how to make some money. Thanks, Karen. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.